Opening night of college football. We jump right into Pac-10 conference play. My brother, Oregon State, Stanford. Look at Toby Gerhardt go. Bounces it outside, 46 yards. Touchdown, 17-10, Cardinal. Third quarter, we're tied at 20. Tough game, Lau Moivau throws it behind his receiver, and that's a backward pass. It goes out of the end zone. That's a safety. Two points for the red team. Moivau, bad mistake there. Into the fourth quarter. Beavers down nine. Bo McNally now picks off Moivau. He goes all the way the other way. That's a pick six. Look at him again. That's just good defensive backfield play. Read the eyes the whole way. Stanford goes up 36 way. They're just going to cruise, right? Well, no. Suddenly they've got a beaver problem. Down eight. Less than a minute to go. OSU threatening. They're catching the catch. Stretching for the goal line. Fumbles that one out of the end zone. That's not a safety, but that is a touchback. Give it to the Cardinal. As you can see, that ball's free, and now that ball is out of the end zone. And so Stanford takes over and hangs on to win it 36-28 in what is the game of the year in college football so far. <laughs> Wake Forest ranked in the preseason AP poll for the first time in school history, visiting the Baylor Bears in Waco. Riley Skinner for the Demon Deeks finds Chip Brinkman. Touchdown. Wake leads in Waco. 10-zip. Next Baylor possession, Kirby Freeman's pass. There's his man, Jay Finley, bobbles it. That goes right into the hands of Alfonso Smith, where balls go all the time. 15 career interceptions. Wake would score in the drive, go up 17-0. In the second quarter, Baylor brings in freshman quarterback Robert Griffin, who also happens to be the Big 12 Conference 400-meter hurdle champ. And look at that. Oh, that is nice. Levy, you might be replaced, at least coming out of the tunnel. Look at that again. Poor Michael Carter, the defensive tackle, just got juked. Baylor would score in the next play. Missed the PAT, though, so it's 20 to 6 at the half in favor of the visitors. Third quarter, Baylor, deep in zone territory. Griffin fumbles the exchange with running back Jay Finley. Another turnover. Deeks have got it. Good scoring opportunity. You got to take advantage of that, right? Two plays later. Skinner again. Brinkman again. Touchdown again. Wake Forest takes a 27 6 lead. Wake Forest wins it by a count of 41 13 in the NC State to Columbia. Gamecocks opened last season 6 and 1, were ranked 6 in the country before finishing with five straight losses and no bowl game. Wow, tough start for the junior quarterback Tommy Beecher. He would be intercepted three times by the time the second quarter rolled around. In all, he threw four picks in the game. Scary moment for NC State. The redshirt freshman quarterback Russell Wilson is tackled for a loss, stayed down. Got kneed in the head, in the back of the head. He'd remain down. Teammates looking on, very concerned. But what you want to see is the thumbs up on the cart. And there it was. He was taken to the hospital, diagnosed with a grade three concussion. Wilson's replacement, Daniel Evans, intercepted by Carlos Thomas. NC State throwing the ball over four times in the game. This had a preseason field, but there is no preseason game in college football. Mike Davis into the end zone. With Beecher out of the game with an apparent head injury, his replacement, Chris Smelly, hooks up with Dion LaCorn. South Carolina pitches the shutout. Here's Steve Spurrier with our Aaron Andrews. Gatness might be around the corner. Look at this against Charleston Southern playing their first game at Dolphin Stadium. Remember, they used to be at the Orange Bowl, but that's out. First quarter, freshman quarterback, Ja'Cory Harris. Look at that. I'll take it myself, thanks. 30-yard touchdown round, 7-0 Miami. By the way, are you still playing at the Delano? Yeah. Some time down there? Mm -hmm. Second quarter, Miami, 21 nothing. Greg Cooper goes into the end zone, 28 nothing, and now watch Coop field the punt, and off he goes. I'm going to run a little this way. I'm going to run a little that way. Oh, yeah. I, I like to call them the U. And uh, they have the Bucks outclassed in this one. 66 yards on that punt return. Hurricanes roll 52-7. Georgia Tech going to work on a new coach, Paul Johnson. Jacksonville State quarterback Ryan Carolou providing the opposition for the Yellow Jackets. Second quarter, Joseph Gilbert. He's your right guard. He's going to explode off the line. He's going to clear a path for Jonathan Dwyer. There it goes. Hey, Johnny, nice. 29 yards. That makes it 27-0 wreck after the PAT was missed. And then there's Paraloo now playing there. Jacksonville State picked off by Morgan Burnett. Interception. Burnett had two picks in this one. Paraloo 22 of 37, 136 yards. Two touchdowns to go with those two interceptions. It's 27-7 Tech in the third. Josh Nesbitt options out to the right. Pitches to Roddy. I love the option pitch. So glad the football is back. Paul Johnson gets the win in his first game with the Ramblin' Wreck. 
real. Huskies want to share the Big East regular season title a year ago. Donald Brown, your tailback. Hey, why don't you fire your left guard, Mo Petrus? You see Mo, there he was, sort of stands out, and then he opens up the big hole for Brown. Brown's Ends up this drive with a second one-yard touchdown run. He gets inside the 30 there. Next quarter, that'd be the second quarter, UConn on Hofstra's 19-yard line. Where's the pride? Brown, 146 rushing yards, four touchdowns in the first half. Huskies win at 35-3. Can June Jones turn around another program with his wide open passing game? For SMU fans, they can only hope that head coach June Jones can duplicate what he did at Hawaii in his first year. He took a team that did not win a game the previous year to nine victories in his first season. SMU last year was 1-11. They are starting a true freshman in Bo Levi Mitchell. He'll get a lot of opportunities to throw the football under June Jones. Thank you, Mark May. Bo Levi, yeah. Right out of uh, central casting exactly. there. Exactly. Bo Levi Mitchell to Bradley Haynes. 19-yard touchdown. June Jones is a genius. It's 13-0. They missed the PAT. Second quarter, Rice now leads 14-13. That didn't take long. Hello. Chase Clement finds Jared Dillard in the end zone. 21-yard score. 21-13, Rice. Third quarter, Rice up 28-20. Same combination again. Dillard the score. They've connected for 35 career touchdowns. Three shy of the NCAA record. I bet you didn't know that one. SMU down. Uh, now 42 to 20. Can we get something? Oh, that doesn't look like it's going to be a good ending. Andrew Sendeo <laughs> returns the interception. We got to do the whole. Yeah. Andrew Sendeo. <laughs> Here you go. Mitchell 25 of 43. Three picks, three touchdowns.